Morning everybody, thank you. We're delighted to be here. Um, and it's also great to see so many of you here to discuss these excellent, excellent reports for which I want to thank Relate very much. Um, we really do welcome this report and also of course its focus on family stability which is at the heart of our government's approach to policy making and thinking. Building a stronger society means we must support families. Always we must consider the impact on children as well because we all know in this room and most people outside probably do too that unstable family environments or parental conflict has such adverse effects on the life chances of our children. And we also estimate that family <laughs> breakdown probably costs around 46 billion pounds a year to the government. So there's a great opportunity if we can make significant improvements here. The report clearly uh, poses challenges to government, but I can assure you that the DWP and the MOJ are already doing work to address some of the issues that it raises. So let me highlight a few of the things that we're doing and um, Caroline will, will speak a little bit more in a moment. The report recommends increased investment in relationship support. And I'm pleased to report that our investment in this area has already doubled. We've invested £30 million in the past five years and we're investing a further £8 million in 2015-16 in a range of relationship support provision. This aims to support couples and parents and encourage take-up of the kind of face-to-face, -face, phone and online intervention support services that we were just hearing about from Relate. Specifically, we're piloting relationship education in antenatal classes and also in the antenatal visits in eight areas across this country. We know that transition <coughs> to parenthood can be one of the biggest risk factors triggering uh, separation. Many of us will have experienced the stresses that having a baby can bring to a relationship. So we want to help equip mothers and fathers with the skills they might need for communication and for conflict resolution before the baby actually arrives, when they may have time to think about it and prepare for it. We've also produced guidance and training for health visitors to spot the signs of relationship stress. These frontline practitioners provide a universal service to parents, so they are obviously really well placed to ensure early intervention support. The Relate, the Relate report also focuses on the need for a culture change in relationship support, and we completely echo that sentiment. The DWP and the MOJ are promoting family relationship support. Of course, we want to encourage better understanding of relationship health amongst parents and explain how relationship strength can support children, certainly before any potential breakup, but unfortunately, possibly also during and after. Not everybody thinks enough about the impact on children, and for us that is absolutely central. The DWP is working with 13 local authorities to support co-parenting and new family-centred systems, which again, we, will, we, we hope, will help achieve this culture change. One of the things that I'd like to just mention, given that I'm also Minister for Pensions, you might think it's a bit odd that I'm here talking about these issues, but actually I see that there is, in terms of both culture change and integration across society, an element of intergenerational support here with grandparents 
potentially being another important source of relationship support. Grandparents also receiving training for parenting skills and grandparenting skills, keeping couples together or keeping grandparents and grandchildren engaged with each other. Now that has, I think, powerful implications for potential support for children through a breakup now, for the young children. But if you wind forward, we've got an aging population with more and more older people. Maybe that will help with intergenerational cohesion later on as grandparents get increasingly older and there's that bond of relationships across generations, so extending a little bit beyond just the parent and child. And I think that there is potentially um, some merit in that through Relate, and I know Relate are already doing marvellous work here. The report talks about integrated support for children and young people. And of course, we do understand the devastating impact that the high conflict relationship breakdown can have on both parents and their children. So we've all been funding 17 projects via our innovation fund for separated families over the last two and a half years. And these can help us better understand what works best to help separating parents resolve conflict and work together in the best interests of their children. Interestingly, your report asks for more integrated support for children and young people. And two of these innovation projects had children directly involved in the intervention itself. And we are hoping that that is a powerful new strand to some of the work we're doing. And we're now considering how we can continue to give children a voice in any similar interventions in the future. Ooh. Seem to be missing the last slide, which is coordination <laughs> across government. <laughs> so your report asks about improved coordination across government. And I am pleased to mention the implementation of our family test which is now integral to the consideration of any new government policy. We have to look at the family test and assess the impact on families when we are devising new policies. And government departments are routinely now considering this issue when they are changing or considering changing policies. And we're working now to embed this family test across all our policy-making processes. It's just over one year since the Prime Minister announced the test. So of course there's more work to do, and we're open to suggestions, and we want to use it consistently right across government. But I do feel that it's already having a very positive impact. And it's certainly, I can tell you, one of the issues that we take really seriously in DWP when making a number of the policy changes that unfortunately we've been making or that happily we have been making. <laughs>